advice for my daughter. <laughs> Uh, top of the morning to you, standard redhead joke that everybody's done a zillion times. All right. I want to thank you in advance for any advice you have from me or my daughter. My daughter is 13. I'm going to say it the whole way through. Is 13 and doesn't have many interests, at least none that she is willing to stick with. Well, she's only 13, dude. The fuck? She's got to pick a career? <laughs> you screaming at her every night. Is it going to be finance? You're going to be a nurse, mom. <laughs> However, there seems to be one subject that keeps com- coming up uh, that she asks uh, my help with, and that's comedy. She's a funny and incredibly sarcastic kid. My favorite type of humor. Well, she probably got it from you then. Yeah, I was just about to say. Yeah. That. Oh, because she's daddy's little, little sarcastic girl. girl, and she wants to learn how to write jokes. I have searched for classes, but they appear to be given at a comedy club, and I don't think they would want a 13-year-old girl around. You wouldn't want to bring a 13-year-old girl down to a comedy club. They've got to have... cursing like a sailor. They've got to have some kids' programs. Don't they do that? Let me finish before oh. you... Come in here with your wisdom. Can you recommend <laughs> any kind of book or video class that she can study? I've seen a lot of material, but I'm not sure what will help her get started. Big fan and appreciate any suggestions that you may have. And if you read this on the advice show, please give me a heads up. I will have her. How the fuck would I give you? I don't know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> what is the advice show? I'll let her hear it directly from you and not shittily passed along from her moron father and i would like to count how many mistakes you made reading this letter i kept the well you want to talk about mistakes dude when you said at least none that she's willing you spelt none n-o-n all right fucko (laughs) i kept the word small for your illiterate ginger ass they're such arrogant cunts maybe this is why your daughter doesn't like to share interest because you're kind of a prick (laughs) no he is you know what it is he's worried that i'm gonna shit on him so he's gonna shit on me first so anyways, uh, first of all, Emerson College, all of a sudden now you can major in comedy. I heard that tonight. Yeah, which kind of makes sense it considering uh, the, the comedic, tickets. The comedic legends that have graduated from the school, no, just such the, as Bill Burr. Just the tickets that comics are selling. When I started out, there was a handful of people playing theaters. Mm-hmm. And that would be like George Carlin, Bill Cosby. Uh, see, I'm already forgetting. I mean, maybe those guys that had their t- TV shows. And when I started, Seinfeld still hadn't become a hit yet. So he, he was probably just selling out clubs. Maybe Roseanne Barr, if she gave a fuck enough at that point, because Roseanne was still going. But there was a, I mean, it was a short, short, short list. And now there's like a zillion people out there, it seems. They're all playing theaters. They're all writing new hours and everything. Like, I don't, I, there's never mm-hmm. been a more prolific time. So I think they're finally seeing it when like, how many fucking comics have sold out Madison Square Garden? Like yeah. that was like it was like Eddie Murphy did it, Dice Clay did it, and then Dane Cook did it. So there was like a fucking there was two guys in the eighties, nobody in the nineties that I knew of, no comic in the nineties that I know of that that wasn't well. Eddie had already stopped. Dice maybe did it in nineteen ninety, but uh, and Seinfeld. It, no, or was he doing I, I don't the think. Show? He, yeah, he was doing the show. Um, that was when a lot of yeah comics were doing their own TV shows. Yeah, Tim Allen. Yeah, I don't know how it happened, but all of a sudden now, you know, there's like, like I think I know like five people that sold the fucking thing out. So it might it's now a uh, it's it's finally I think comedy. Well, maybe that they're having is like comedy writing and that, but I always look at it as like being a comedian. It's actually a a a. It's a career now where people used to kind of look at it, even though it always was a career, but it was always kind of viewed as like it was this stepping stone to get a sitcom. I find it strange that like you major in comedy. It's cool, but it's like it's such a weird thing. So they're probably it is gonna... weird. Do you have to be funny in like your application and shit like, like right, how, how exactly. do you do that? They probably do like the acting program where you have to do some material. They probably study all like the history of comedy from the very beginning, like vaudeville, up until now. They watch a ton of specials. They probably have to write. It's kind of like when I did Emerson and I graduated with a media arts degree, right? We watched a shitload of movies. We wrote a lot of papers about it. That's probably what they're going to do. They have to do some sort of performance. Right, 
Well, right like now, hitting, what, like well, I, I would say well, his question was, what can you do now? I would just What's, say. What city are they? Do they say what city they're in? I don't know. Listen, I would just say just Have watch it. as many comedians as, as you can oh, yeah. or watch as many comedies as you can. Mm-hmm. Uh, depending if you want to be a writer or something like that. I mean, these these are the fun years. Like, there's no like you're 13. I mean, it's not yeah, like exactly. It'll probably it'll probably change. It should be in, enjoy. No, but it should be in enjoyable. Six <laughs> it should be enjoyable. Yeah. Why are you trying to make it a career for her already? No, because no, he no. loves her. No, I know, I know. I'm just joking. But also, um, they do, do improv classes for people that age. That's a good fun thing to that, do. Don't do. Don't take an improv class at 13. Why? That's like teaching a kid how to kids. throw a fucking curveball. They're mean? too young. Well, if you try to teach a kid when he's they too young it. to throw a curveball, he need, let me fun. finish. You're fucking interrupting me here. They're fucking, uh, they, they get the Tommy John surgery. Now what? Now you're going to pout on me? I'm not pouting. There you are. That's your pout face. <laughs> Is this my pout face? Yeah, I, I, was trying, I, had, I had a nice fucking reference there about throwing the curveball. It was going well, and you, you were jumping in on me. So I decided to defend myself. And now you know what's going to happen? You're going to fucking, you're within... Three more dumb things of me saying of doing that thing where you cross your arms and you fucking look in the other direction. My and arms I, are already half crossed. I know. Though, yeah. And then I'm I say, what's there. wrong? And you go, nothing. Nothing's wrong. <laughs> Something's wrong. You got your fucking arms crossed. I don't understand what a, her going to an improv class is, is. Why is that a bad idea? Because a lot of those improv uh, theaters, they also do comedy writing workshops and all that kind of stuff. I'll tell you be what, good. because anybody she who's, how to perform. who's in comedy and their job is to teach 13-year-olds how to do improv, <laughs> they stink. <laughs> they married a rich guy and they're fucking bored. And now they, they think, oh, then maybe this is my uh, talent. And they're going to teach him more shit. I had this is this is what you do. Teachers, not when I was thirteen. Not when you were thirteen. Fuck that. that. This is what you do. When I was thirteen, but hang out with your friends and joke around and be funny and, and find out the movies that you know make your generation laugh. Just do that. Just this. This is the. This should be fun. Mm. It should be fun. Yeah, that's a good point. Shouldn't be you know turning this into like the sports dads. Which was the reference where they teach him how to throw a fucking curveball at 13. And the, the movement that you do when you throw it, you're snapping your wrists like that. The tendons in their arms are still growing or whatever. I don't know what it is medically, but they, they, their arm is not strong enough to do it. And these kids need Tommy John surgery, which is basically you take a ligament out of your fucking leg and replace it in the elbow. From They should be skipping rocks across the, a fucking lake. You know the advice that I gave? No, you're absolutely right. The advice I gave was Holy the, shit. The kind of Can advice. you say that again? What? That's all right. I have it recorded. Good. Oh, when I said that you're right. <laughs> you said absolutely right. I don't think I've ever heard that. Uh, the advice I just gave is the kind of advice my, my dad would give, where he'd be like, well, get into a class and take this and do this writing thing and da 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 da. He would make it this whole big stage painting. Regimented thing. thing. Well, there's yeah. a time and place for that, and That's it's not when you're 13. 13, yeah. you should be walking home from school if they didn't have you fucking believing there's a pedophile behind every fucking tree. <laughs> you should be goofing off with your friends and, and just. You should know how to make people laugh. You should just be fucking making people laugh. You don't want to break it down and be like, oh, I just made my, my 13-year-old friend laugh. Well, let's see. Let's look at the setup and what was the punchline. You're going to start doing right. sh- Oh, here comes my – you know what I'm going to do today at school? You know what I'm going to do today? You're 13. I'm going to work on my misdirections. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, you wouldn't believe it. I tagged this whole thing about the lunch lady. You don't want to do that. Just fucking have, have – Suck a- all the fun out of it. Exactly. Just I would say – Watch the legends of today, like Melissa McCarthy, Kristen Wiig, mm-hmm. whatever what, what the fuck you're into. And, uh, you know, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. That, that's what I would do. That's I, good I, advice. Yeah, I don't stick her in a fucking comedy class. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> File that under, oh, Jesus. <laughs> comedy, what is it? <laughs> Webster's Dictionary the sound, the sound defines of comedy as... <laughs> What is this thing that we call comedy? 